Welcome back everybody. I want to big, give everybody a big thank you for watching the last video and big shout out to those few subscribers. Much appreciated. This is going to be a continuation of last week's or the last episode that I put out where the, I asked the AI computer to tell me how to design the next coaster for my park. So today I'm going to finish up working on all the rock work and the plant life filling in our jungle, filling in some flowers, filling in this area and making it a little more finished and refined. Towards the end of today's episode, I did go into the workshop to find some buildings that would work for the area that we're building. What I found worked pretty close. I did need to modify everything to make it work just right for what we were building. But I think it all turned out and worked pretty well. Let me know what you think. Now when it comes to meeting our coaster requirements, I think we got pretty close. I think it wanted the cliffside plunge to go over the edge of the cliff, but we went up the side of the cliff. When it comes to the jungle canopy and the rocky ravine, I accidentally switched them around in terms of order, but we did get them both in and I think they turned out fantastic. After the rocky ravine the second time actually, we had or excuse me, we turn around and head down towards the River Rapids interaction. I was able to make a pretty convincing splashdown section, and I think it turned out pretty well. For number five on our list, Townside Rush, the train barrels back towards our second lift hill, almost making it all the way to the top before the chain has to take over. We get a brief moment to look over the town below before we go barely back into the forest. One thing on the list that I did not end up incorporating was the elevated spiral. It wanted the chain lift hill, the second one, to be uh, spiraled around a rock spire and it didn't really work in my layout and my idea for the area. So after our second lift hill, we go into the hillside hops. The train makes its way through the trees along the top of the hill before jumping back over the pathway and entering number eight, our canyon finale, where the train makes its last final push through the rocky canyon before entering into the break run.
everything finished, and this is what our area looks like. It does we come up out of the town? Come up, climb up the hill. We got this church building over here that has a bathroom in it, or it doesn't have a bathroom anymore. But I did make this little food court area. I think that area turned out quite well. As we come up here, turn to the right, come back down the hill. We wrap around the corner. Got another food court area, some gift shops, some more food over here, and we get to the entrance of the Caribbean Cliffhanger. Found a bunch of workshop items that I thought would help make this area feel a little bit more lively. Got food courts, multiple entrances. Guests are obviously choosing to walk right through the middle of here, which is fine. One of the neat little things I think that add to tie this whole area together is over here we have the rear end of the ship. In the middle, we have the middle section of the ship. And tucked over here in the queue line, of our radio is about the front of the ship. I think this area turned out pretty fantastic. Uh, one thing I did do is throw a little viewing platform area up here for our splashdown. Let me get a good view here. Perfect. And it runs right back up and runs up to the cliff tip. I think our area here has turned out pretty dang good. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you really are so inclined. It really helps me and encourages me to make some more videos. If there's any changes you would make to this roller coaster from what we were told to do, let me know. All right guys, and just like that, we've made it to the part of the video that everybody literally just skipped to. So let's hit the cinematics and that POV. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.